you're still watching ways now we'll just go straight into what we found in the news let me come to uti uti what did you find for us in the news okay so <clears throat> excuse me um so my story i mean i know it feels like there's no more covid and everybody in the world has moved on but um really for me um, i'm still curious if we look at how covid has played out in the world um i'm still curious about sub-saharan africa is that what we'll call it mm -hmm. um and how we've reacted to COVID or not in the case maybe. So we have quite low numbers, you know, whether you agree that it's testing or no testing. So this story, the headline reads blood types that save from COVID-19 infection. So this again is another study that is trying to look into um, some of the reasons why um, COVID has not been as prevalent as it could be. Um, and the key takeaway from this is if you're O neg, you can saunter and dance down the street, you're least likely to um to catch uh, COVID-19 and if you do catch COVID-19 then you are more likely to have less severe symptoms so I'm dancing down the street oh neg I'm proud um <laughs> so that's really the some the that's the the crux of the story and really just giving a bit more insight into how the different blood types um react in terms of COVID uh it was just an interesting read it'd be good for everyone to check it out yeah but well, I think it's not just all negative I think generally the old blood group type you know because I'm yeah. all positive and you know mm -hmm. I, I realized that you know so Elsie was making a joke she was saying that's why you've been going up and down if not caught COVID I said well I don't know <laughs> but, <laughs> but I think, it is right I, I mean, think it's all neg where the yeah. Uh, where the blood donors, where the universal donors, where everything. So it's good that we catch a break, right? Because <laughs> we can give everybody blood. We can't get blood from anybody else. But I think okay, so I think I'm all negative because I know I'm a universal donor. So uh, that means I'm in the group as well. I'm in the same WhatsApp group. Uh, all right, so you're, you're all positive. So you still got that positive to count about. All uh, neg, where not where's nothing in the blood. We just donate. <laughs> we're like here, here's some blood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let me come to Mori. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, so today, like the last time I was on the show, I had um, quite interesting news. Today, my news is rather annoying and sad. The Nigerian police force has filed a suit in court to scrap the judicial panels of inquiry set up by the state government to probe allegations of rights, abuses, and other acts of police brutality um, following the nationwide NSAS protest. And to be very honest, it's the audacity for me, the the audacity to be able to um sue the court um like what exactly is is giving you so much you know, um confidence and that's it's, it's a rather annoying case and i'll just try to i would like to just you know wrap up and just talk quickly about it because it's really really heartbreaking mm. But the Nigerian police force to be able to sue the that means that there's there's somebody that they that's that's backing them. So this I feel like is not even the complete story. The audacity, a country that does not have a system. But even the funny the, thing the about the protest and all of the answers, I kind thought of injustice. It's just really, really sad, heartbreaking, yeah. annoying, and everything frustrating in <laughs> one. Um, I thought this the the the, the, the so, part so, of the five for five I, demands. I just want to jump in there. Can I jump? Um, there? Okay, go ahead, Uti. <laughs> So no, so I, I, you know, when Maury was saying there's more to the story. So I think the argument there, and I remember back to when um, the Lagos State Government first talked about constituting these um, panels, right? Um, I believe it was the governor from Abia State who had said that those panels, according to the constitution, were had no power to investigate the police because it's only the federal government mm. that can investigate the activities of the police. So I believe it's that part of the constitution that the police is now petitioning the court to say you know what these panels can't fly because according to the constitution they don't have the power to they do don't so. have the power to do so well i well <laughs> i think we'll leave it there <laughs> but i i just want the police to know that i think part of why this nsars protest escalated in the first place was because the people were truly looking out for the police to ensure that they have better livelihoods so that they can you know all the menace of um, collecting bribes and, you know, harassing people on the roads can actually stop. All right, so my story is actually quite an interesting one. Interpol warns that COVID-19 vaccine could be targeted by criminals. Um, so the Interpol Global Police uh, Coordination Agency has warned uh, on Wednesday that organized criminal networks could be targeting COVID-19 vaccine and could look to sell uh, fake shots. So this is very, very scary. 
um, right now, a lot of people are, are excited about the news of you know, vaccines that are coming out. So I think it's even good that they are giving us a heads up. So this is the time we would ask for all our security personnel to ensure <laughs> you know, that all, all hands are on deck you know, from country to country that the, the vaccines are, are protected. Because I remember when the COVID-19 um, lockdown, the, when the lockdown just started in different countries, I remember how they were hijacking um, they were hijacking nose masks, all the uh, PPEs, you know, they were being hijacked. I remember even in France, there was, there was a truckload of um, nose masks going to the hospitals, the, the N90, uh, N95 that was hijacked. So I think, I mean, it's good that we are getting this heads up and hopefully, you know, they'll be able to, you know, um, counter whatever plans or foil whatever plans that these criminal elements would have. All right, so um, I think that's about it. When we come back from the break, we'll be discussing, um, today is International Day of, uh, for Persons Living with uh, Disabilities. We'll see, celebrate someone that has been living with disabilities all her life and we'll, we'll celebrate with her. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs>